you know, looking at Amy in this still shot right here, it reminds me why I stay from round niggas. Is y'all ready to talk about it? Let's juice. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Voodoo Dog TV back with a quick little jose or whatever the case may be. And today we are josting Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, season 5243, episode 695. Now listen, this was the boat trip from hell. Do you hear me? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Now, I know that the episode is going to pick up where we left off last week, but the topic of discussion is still Erica, Erica. That's still the topic of discussion. So we have to remain focused. Now, Carly is going to try to to dip in and out to try to make herself relevant, to try to get a little one, two, yin, 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 so we can remember that her and her face are all present. But Carly, this is not about you, Carly. Carly, we have a lot of things to discuss, but you and one of your faces ain't one of them, fat. I need to make this disclaimer to Carly. Get Carly up here, matter of fact. Now, Carly, I want to be nice to you. I do. I ain't going to lie. I want to be nice to you. But I noticed in the episode, you kept trying to insert yourself in places that you didn't need to be inserted in. Not only that, you were just trying to make yourself relevant. And I didn't like that. Carly, I'm going to ask you nicely to please not do that um, during this review. And if I have to keep remembering that you are inserting yourself, I'm going to cuss your ass out, bitch. Get off of here. So now the episode opens up with Spice battling, uh, what's the girl? The Bam. Cause Spice said, oh, now you want to talk? Let's talk. Get up. Let's talk. Now Spice been wanting to fight everybody and I don't understand the big deal, but Bam needs to be boxed up. That's what I think. But Bam basically feels like she's just projecting her, uh, anger for Erica onto her. And this is upsetting her friend in her new face. You know, that's big for them. So Bambi gets in her confessional and basically feels some type of way because she said, why she don't have an attitude with Sierra? She got all this beef with me, but Sierra, her friend too. And I'm like, what type of friend are you, bitch? Why are you worried about her beefing with your other friend? That's crazy. Anyway, um, Bambi back at the table and was like, I spoke to Erica, but I didn't speak to her about that. And I, just like Shakana, is over there saying, that bitch lying like a dog, bitch. That shit, that, that shit don't even make no sense, bitch. You talk to her, but you ain't talk to her about that. Girl, make it make sense. And look at this bitch, Carly. Talking about this is all Shekinah's fault. Why is Shekinah jumping in? Carly, get down, you Riddler, bitch. Get down, because we're not, we not doing this with you this, this episode. We're not doing it. You are done for the season, hoe. Get down. So now as Bam, the Bam is getting rung up by, what's the girl name? Shekinah. No, not Shekinah. Shekinah. Shekinah ain't ringing her up yet. By all uh, Spice. Origi original Spice, regular Spice. Guess who walks through the door and sends this hoe in a frenzy? Lil Scrappy. Yes, the Prince of the South. That's what he called himself. I didn't say it. That's what he said. So he walks in and say hey to everybody, literally everybody except the Bam. And I know that hit her hard. I know it hit her hard. I know it did, you know, because she used to sleep with this man. That was her husband at a time, once upon a time, you know. So I know that had to hit her. Her heart. Now the Bam hops in her confessional and say, just when I didn't think things could get any worse, here come my ex-husband trying to make things worse on me. And I'm saying, the Bam, the shit already bad, fat. I don't care what you see. You know, it's already bad. Now Scrap Jump in his confessional was like, we in paradise, nigga. I'm thinking we supposed to be having fun. It, it seemed like you could cut the tension with a knife around here. What's going on? So Bam asked what sparked Erica, Erica, to use the monkey word. Now, in my humble opinion, bitch, it don't matter what sparked it. But anyway, let's go on with the move. Let's go with the move since that's where we at. So Shakana, Shakana is trying to tell her, bitch. She said, girl, your friend was over there. They were talking about the children and all of that. She said, and then all of a sudden, your friend just spewed out, you blue black monkey. She also says that she called Cap. 
on y'all hoes running around there saying y'all was fasting for Spice because as soon as shit go left, Spice want to, un- not Spice, Erica want to unalive the bitch. Now, Bam, it was like, you don't have to believe that. That's who it really happened. Uh, Shekinah calling Cap, bitch. Shekinah said, girl, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. None of this shit is making any fucking sense now the bam gets up there and said well it's not for you to believe shakana but we did fast online shakana hopped in the confessional and said bitch them hoes is lying through their teeth through their dentures through their new teeth bitch because if them hoes was fasting they'd have been fasting for their niggas bitch i'm calling cap now back at the scene uh, Shekana told her straight up, bitch, y'all could never be fasting because if you'd have been fasting, you'd have been fasting for your man, bitch. How come all you hoes is fasting and ain't nobody got no man? Now, the bam says, what you mean fasting for my man? I was married to him. That was my husband. What are you talking about? You know, ain't nothing like a bitch who used to be married to want to hang on to a title that she ain't got no more. You know what I'm saying? But Shekana goes on to say, bitch, it couldn't have been that good, bitch. Y'all getting divorced in five years. Can we talk? That's what Shekana said. Shekana also also says she tired of the bam because she's trying to tell her what happened and the bam keep cutting her off because the bam just don't want to believe her she's very much so tired of the bullshit so shakana's whole thing is bitch girl bye because you only been married for five minutes bitch you wasn't married that long like for real and guess who hopped in amy the dummy dummy amy jumps in talking about she should have been talking to somebody who was married and somebody who kept a man Bitch, you couldn't keep a man if you locked him in your basement, hoe. Why is you giving your commentary on the shit, bitch? We don't want to hear your, your point of view on this shit, bitch. This ain't TikTok. We don't need your POV. Bitch, you need to be minding your motherfucking business. You can't even keep a friend zone, nigga, bitch. How is you going to get up here and tell these girls what the fuck going on and how they need to be moving and shaking? Girl, get off of here, you horse. So now back at the subject, Shekinah is basically dragging. She Shekinah said, bitch, I said what I said. And at the end of the day, Scrappy saved you. That whole turned over to Scrappy and said, Scrap, you saved that bitch from the streets. She was for the streets. Now Scrappy is over there trying not to get involved because he said, I did save that bitch from the streets. Yes, I did. But he didn't want to say that out loud, right? So the band was like, save me from the streets? What are you talking about, girl? He did not save me from the streets. You're a dog on assistant. What are you talking about? You're a friend. You're a friend. You're an assistant. He never saved me from the streets. And I'm saying, girl, yes, he did. Yes, the fuck he did, bitch. And Shekana wanted to bring out receipts. And Re- Shekano said, oh, bitch, you want to act like you ain't from the streets, hoe? Do you recall that time you was in the jacuzzi with this nigga under me right here? Somebody go grab the photo for this hoe's memory. And show his shit, bitch. Look at this hole on Benzino. On Benzino's neck peen. I said, uh-huh, bitch. You see, the internet never forgets. And the people who watch the show never forget. Scrappy did save you, bitch. He did. Because you was for the streets. Any bitch who would get in a jacuzzi with Benzino and Kirk with the three earrings, bitch, you are definitely for the streets, fat. Matter of fact, the streets own you at that perk. You was in the, girl, you sitting on Benzino lap and you know the band about seven feet tall. Bitch, how that look with you next to uh, Benzino? Let me see how I feel like that'll look. Now, bitch, I know good and well when you got out that jacuzzi. You and Benzino, bitch. You is on a Schwarzenegger and Benzino is the little nigga. I forgot his name from the 90s, bitch. I know that's exactly how y'all had to stand, bitch. I know it. I know it, bitch. I know I'm not crazy, bitch. I know when you stood next to Benzino after sitting on that little Petey bird, this is what it looked like. Bam, you are trash, bitch. Get off of here. So the Bam hop in her confessional and said basically how rich she's using the old read trying to read me. That was 10 years ago. It don't matter, Bam. You was in the jacuzzi with the homie. You smashed the homie like uh, Ray J had said back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you can't unlive that. So, meanwhile, back on the ranch, Spice and uh, Shakana, Shakana, well, not really Shakana, because Shakana don't fight, but Spice ready to throw them blows or whatever the case. Now, her and the Bam is going back and forth because the Bam feel like, bitch, Spice, you shut up, bitch. We done already had our conversation, but no, bitch, the conversation is not over till Shakana, not Shakana, Spice say it's over. 
So now basically, yeah, Spice and Shekinah is going in. They acting like they want to fight. But if you ask me, I don't think none of them hoes want to really fight either, to be completely honest. That's just me. You know, that's how I feel about the situation. But uh, this girl, Bam, is telling them to calm down. She was like, you need to sit down. Now, Spice said, no, bitch, I don't sit down till I'm ready to sit down. Ho, this is my ass. I sit on it when I'm goddamn ready, you know. Now, look at poor Rennie. She's lost. She don't know why they beefing. Hell, you could even see Carly with one of her faces over there all in the loss. You know, don't nobody know what's going on. Even my little cousin Chaotic is, is thrown off at the moment. He don't know what's going on. So now the BAM attempts a failed Karen by basically saying, I'm going through a divorce. I'm married and I'm divorcing and you guys are attacking me. And then Scrappy jumps in and was like, girl, that's what you're not about to do. See, you might have all these motherfuckers around here, fool, bitch, but I'm not fool. You think you motherfucking slick, ho. You think you really is that slick, bitch. And the BAM was like, what do you mean? What do you mean, Scrappy? I am a single mother. I have to pay for everything myself and everything. What is going on? A little Scrappy don't want to hear that shit. You feel me? So all of a sudden, there's a commotion. Everybody is up out of their seats. We don't know what's going on. The BAM is over there, like I said, at a failed attempt of being a Karen. And out of nowhere, Shakana, Shakana jumps up out of the chair like Hail Mary, bitch. All because it was an eel by her foot. Now, I ain't going to lie. If I was Shekinah and, and that shit would have been by my foot, bitch, I would have never went back, bitch. I wouldn't have took a bath, let alone go to the beach, bitch. Do you hear me? I would have been traumatized for life, bitch. I can't take that type of shock, bitch. You crazy? Ain't no way. So Shekinah is in shock. Shekinah said, bitch, I'm going upstairs. That's a sign. That's a sign. Oh, uh, Spice get ready to go. And she was like, I'm going to just leave. You know, leave this talentless bitch right here. Chaotic is over there saying, y'all is the problem. You know, Chaotic, my little cousin got up there and said, the reason this shit is happening is because of y'all. You know, now y'all got eels coming up here fucking with y'all. Now, my, my cousin, he liked to explain himself. So he got into the confessional and said, you know, I feel like that eel was in the water trying to get him a little something, something, something. And he heard all the commotion, so he decided to come up out of the ocean and say, well, since y'all hoes making all the commotion, y'all need to give me a little yin, yin, yin. Shout out to Chaotic. Now, the BAM is still at the table perplexed. She don't understand why she's being so-called attacked. Here comes Yandy. Everybody at the table didn't attack you, BAM. And the BAM feels like they did. But Yandy, take your ass back up to New York. Get your ass back up there, because this other shit too big for you. So anyway, uh, the BAM is back into Karen mode, and she said everybody is attacking her, and she don't feel like that. She don't feel like that's that's cool, she said, because she's going through a divorce. Like, she the first bitch to ever go through a divorce. And, you know, that kind of triggers Yandy, because she knows that Mendeecees is one jail sentence away from divorce in her ass. So now she's over there perplexed. She want to know how can she fix this? She don't like this, you know? And uh, basically, Yandy, not Yandy, the BAM is, is playing a Karen, bitch, and we not buying it. And I'm with this little Scrappy. Little Scrappy said, bitch, you over there trying to play pity party, bitch, and I'm not buying it whole. It take two to divorce and two to get married, bitch, not just one. And the BAM was like, okay, mm-hmm, I'm listening. Okay, if that's what you say, Scrappy, if that's what you say, Scrappy, do, okay, mm-hmm. And then moving on, Scrappy was like, bitch, don't patronize me, ho. You know what I'm saying, bitch. It ain't just me. Everybody want to just blame it on me, bitch. It ain't always me. Sometimes it's you too, ho. You, you do your share of shit too. It ain't just me. And that is so believable because I hate when people try to just blame one person for the demise of something, especially when two people are involved. I got to be honest right there. Now, Scrappy hops in the confessional and was like, I know she ain't love me when she wanted to divorce me after just seeing some text messages. Well, nigga, what was in the messages? See, that, that part, you know what I'm saying? I know you said, but we need to know for real. Now, the band was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to get up here and I'm going to leave. I'm done. You know, I'm going to exit stage left. And everybody at the table was like, bye, bitch. Get up out of here. We don't want to see you. On the flip side... Three earrings is checking up on little Scrappy and little Scrappy said he's fine, but he tired of this whole plan victim and giving pity parties. He tired of it. You know, it's, it's something got to change. Now, Yandy hops in her confessional talking about, I don't like this. I need them to fix it. Girl, Yandy, bye girl. Get off of here. 
So now in the short clips, Mendeecees is bringing Yandy breakfast in bed. Then we got Scrappy in three earrings sitting outside. Okay, so boom. Old Spice invited uh, Sierra to her, her room to have a conversation, right? And Sierra feels like that uh, Spice has been a lot angrier lately. Now, Spice is trying to tell Sierra that, girl, this all started because your friend told me don't talk to her, that she wasn't fucking talking to me. And Sierra was like, no, girl, what happened was y'all said that them girls was lying. That's when it all started. That's when it all kicked off. She said, but at the end of the day, Spice, you've been hella mad lately you need to chill out spice don't want to hear that shit spice said that hoe had an attitude when she came up in here that's the perp and i don't like it now sierra wants to show her how she look when she be arguing and that's the face she made you know she's a person of many faces and it was so funny that even spice had to laugh because she said this bitch look like a whole new bitch that's because she is when they buy their face like that they become new bitches you know what i'm saying that's how that work so uh sierra getting a uh, confessional to tell us that she wants spice to feel better because spice must have some internal issues from her surgeries and all of that and spice said girl i'm gonna try to do better but at the end of the day that whole knew who she was playing with. That whole tried to play with me last night and I was not for the shits. Let's move on. So now it's the next day. They're getting on the boat to do a fun, nice boat ride. They say the water's supposed to help, you know, people be serene. So everybody's arriving to the boat. All the girls are looking good. All the guys are looking fly. Uh, Bam says she coming. She said at first she wasn't going to come, but she's not about to let these hoes ruin her trip. It's free. Then she alleges that she called Erica, but Erica didn't answer. Girl, bye. Now, on the boat, my girl Rennie is putting uh, suntan lotion on because, you know, she have, you know, clear. And my boy Chaotic couldn't help his eyes from soaring over there by uh, Rennie because he said Rennie looks good. He hopped in the confessional and said, I ain't know Rennie was fine, fine like that. He said Rennie looked like a glazed Krispy Kreme donut. And I say, sound about right. Anyways, so he goes over there by the girls on the little hammock part of the boat. And you know, Carly's got to make it about her. Here she come. Come on up here, Carly. Carly said, you know, she had a near-death experience as a child. And she's not really good with water. Well, bitch, why is you on the boat? Carly, you was a lying-ass bitch. You was a lying, trick-ass bitch. Get off of here. But on the um, bottom, she over there acting like she crying, talking about, I can't believe I'm on this boat. Oh, my God, girl, Carly, you is 59 years old, bitch. Grow up, ho. Grow up. So now Spice is over there telling, uh, what's that girl named Rashida, Rocky Rashida, that, uh, she get triggered sometimes and she need to fix her little attitude or whatever. Girl, go, go to therapy. And then we got, um, uh, what's this boy named Lil Scrappy is over there thinking and pondering because he said last time he was in the Bahamas, it was with the BAM. So we over here saying, well, bitch, is you trying to get back with your wife or what? Like, why keep us out the group chat at this part, nigga? Because he said what he said. He said, man, last Last time I was over here was with the BAM, so this is kind of bittersweet. But what I want to know, nigga, is, is you watching them churn? Who had, what was the churn in the Bahamas? If the churn wasn't in the Bahamas, we don't care. Get off of here. So now on the other side, the girls are sitting over there on the net having conversations. And uh, basically, the BAM gets up high and talking about she was attacked, bitch. Here we go again, bitch. Same old shit, different toilet. She was attacked. And she felt like nobody came to her aid. And I'm just sitting over here saying, bam, shut your ass up. You know what I'm saying? Like, shut the fuck up, girl. We don't care. Now, uh, Amy jumps up and was like, yeah. She was like, because, you know, I felt like that conversation should have only been between the bam and Scrappy. But everybody jumped in. Now, that makes Rennie from the other side say, I feel like everybody being everybody business. And that's the problem with this group. Like, girl, everybody in everybody business. So now the band was like, come on over here, girl. Come talk to us and let us know what you really got to see. So she gets over there and say, yay. I just feel like it's buku messy in the group because everybody be minding everybody business. And that shit is trash. Now, on the flip side, Amy goes to say, well, girl, tell me why uh, Sha Shakana tried to check me, bitch, this morning over some bacon, bitch, and I wasn't having it. So then Rennie said, oh, yeah, I had told her what you said last night when you said don't argue with that or something of that nature to the case. And I told her what you said, but we were talking about what everybody said. It wasn't you specific. It just so happened that was one of the things that you said. And I don't know if it was taken out of context, but I did tell her 
that you said that. Now, Amy was like, bitch, I thought we was on a better track than that. You said we was moving forward since the women empowerment uh, event. Now, all of a sudden, you being messy. Now, Amy gets up in her confessional to tell us that she feel played because she thought that they was on the right track, but it turns out they not. Girl, your tracks ain't on the right track. Girl, get off of here. Now, this is when shit begins to go left. They damn near come in the blows on the net. And I wanted to see them fight because I wanted one of them helpers to fall in the water at this point. This don't even make no sense. But anyway, so Amy feels like, bitch, you was being messy. Like, you was really being messy and I didn't appreciate that, bitch. And that's when the BAM had stood up. Who that is? No, uh, straight face number five. Uh, Sierra, Sierra has stood up to get in between them because, you know, Rennie is popcorn shorty. She ready to go whenever it's time to go, you know. So Rennie jumps up and was like, bitch, do something. What's up? You know, and they had to break the girls up. And it was sad, girl. They was rocking the boat like Aaliyah, bitch. Rock the boat. Girl, I felt so bad for the people on the boat. Rennie hopped in her confessional and said, Amy just a nasty, dirty dog, bitch. That's what she said. She said, that's just a dirty dog, trifling ass bitch. I'm tired of this hoe. Now, back at the net, Carly is over there crying, trying to make a moment. You know, trying to find a way for it to all be centered around her. She over there crying, talking about she's scared. And I'm with Bam. Bam looked at Carly and said, girl, shut the fuck up. Girl, shut the fuck up, please. Immediately. Expeditiously. And it made all the sense in the world to me. You know what I'm saying? So now, after they have separated the girls, Amy gets the courage of... Courage, the cowardly dog, bitch. Now she over there talking cash money shit, batting her hands and all of that, talking about you don't want no smoke, wooty wooty wham wham, looking like a ghetto mess. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, Amy, go lay down, girl. It ain't even that deep, bitch. You doing too much. Go lay down. And uh, Rennie goes over to tell Shekana, she was like, bitch, I told her what you said, and she felt played. Amy is over there telling the girls that she tired of Rennie playing in her face, bitch, because she don't want no smoke with her because she is the real smoke. That's what she said. Now, on the other side, Shekinah is telling Rennie, girl, I didn't check her. I just asked her. It wasn't even like on no checking shit. I just was like, girl, did you call me a that? And then she cleared it up and said she didn't mean it like that or whatever the case. She said she's doing the most. Basically putting 20 on 10, it wasn't that deep. Like, she making it seem like I checked her, checked her, like I G-checked her. Girl, bye. I ain't do all of that. Now, on the flip side, Amy is trying to explain her case to the BAM because she feels like she's just being attacked. Girl, ain't nobody attacking you, but they should have attacked them pom-poms on top of your head, bitch. I ain't like it. I got to be honest. And Carly, get your three blind mice head ass down talking about it's everybody for Girl, get off of here. So now on the flip side, the girls are having their conversation and basically Yandy said she didn't want to attack the BAM. She said that's not what she was trying to do, girl. We don't care. Fuck the BAM. And then um, basically uh, the BAM is over there hot and I'm a single mother, girl. Who cares? Amy ruined the trip, but we ain't got there yet because uh, Rashida want them to be peaceful so they can have karaoke together or whatever. Now, Amy hops in the confession and was like, bitch, I feel like I fucked up. I feel like I fucked up the trip. Well, you did, bitch. You should have stayed your ass home, you leatherneck. That's what you should have did if you ask me. That's just me, though. Now, on the flip side... Amy, Rashida, and Yandy goes to walk off. And Amy was like, I feel like I messed up the trip. And Amy, not Amy, Rashida and um and uh Yandy was like, Yeah, bitch, you did. You fucked it up single-handedly. Yes, you did. And now she feels bad. But I do like that uh Yandy was like, but you know what though? At the end of the day, I did like how you apologized to her at the women's empowerment event. That's the person you have to be moving forward, girl. You cannot be that ratchet royal rabbit broad that you was back in the gap you know what i'm saying you have to change and evolve bitch you have to do something different with your life it's got to be more to, to the to the life into everything out here than the streets bitch you have to become corporate if you want to suck corporate dick you feel what i'm saying so rashida was like plus i need y'all to be, get together and be cool at this doggone karaoke event so girl get it together and i'm over here saying please and thank you let's move on so now the Jessica model girl has finally arrived. She's made it to the doggone event. 
And she said she did a cleanse in the ocean. I don't know what that means. But anyway, she sat down with Bam and Bam was like, girl, I am so happy to see you. You don't understand what's been going on around here. And so Jessica was like, well, what had happened? Bam was over there telling her that girl, they've been attacking me like a dog. Do you hear me? She said they're attacking me, trying to basically make me feel bad because Erica Erica called that girl a monkey. Now, even Jessica Model Girl had to be like, what in the hold up now, bitch? That's a bit much. That is a bit much. You know what I'm saying? But the band feel like, you know, at the end of the day, I still need to speak to my friend before I get judged. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, girl, we do not care. The BAM just want to throw a pity party and I'm not in attendance. Let's move on. So anyway, it's the night of the karaoke. Everybody gathering around, but they in two separate groups at the same damn time. And Yandy wants to ask Rennie, well, girl, was that stuff at the Women Empowerment event? Is Was that an act with you and Amy? Because y'all still beefing. And Rennie feels like, I don't know, maybe it was. She was like, because this shit is weird. But she turned to ask Lil Scrap and she said, well, Scrap, how about you? How did you feel about last night? You know what I'm saying? Because your wife was on the hot seat. Now, the scrap, it feels like at the end of the day, my wife been wanting to divorce because all it took was for her to see some text messages and boom, bam, next thing you know, we getting divorced. Like, it ain't that deep. Yandy was like, well, you didn't give her an opportunity. Maybe she'll pull it back. You have to give her some time. You don't just write her off like that. Give her some time. He said, baby, that shit is starting next week. The divorce is next week, bitch. What's up? So now on the flip side, they don't like that everybody over there in separate groups. So they call everybody over there to the group where they at because they want everybody in one big group. They don't like the separate groups. Now the girls are over there in their group and you know, Bam really don't want to go, but she going to end up going. She kind of lied and said she was on the phone call. That bitch was lying. I would have told that whole go upstairs. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, so the girls get up and come over to the group where they are and they want to sit down and have a doggone talk. Now, my little cousin Chaotic hopped up in a confessional and said, we need to lighten the load around here. It's too dark and heavy. The tension, you can cut it with a knife. We need to make sure that everybody is on one accord. Shout out to my little cousin. So he get back to the thing and said, let's play a game, everybody. Everybody say something nice about somebody else. And I'm saying, this shit ain't going to go as far as planned. Now, Rennie turns to, to the Jessica model girl and was like, girl, I really like that you modeling. I like that you was able to navigate through all of that bullshit with the Nick Cannon drama. I mean, you actually is doing your thing. So shout out to you. And the Jessica Mata girl was like, oh my God, that is so sweet. I can't believe you said that. And look at Sierra, not Sierra, because they all look alike. Look at Carly in one of her faces. Oh, fag girl, y'all got to be strong. So boom, the Jessica Mata girl turns to Sierra and tells Sierra she was a strong woman and she loved how much she loved women girl sierra might love them a little bit too much if you ask me you know what i'm saying now once she says that sierra receives it and sierra was like oh my god thank you you're so sweet i couldn't believe you said that now when that goes down chaotic turns around and say well now rennie you gotta say something to amy like what's been going on y'all gotta say something nice about each other now rennie is really not here for that rennie is just like oh here we go with this shit you know what i'm saying but anyway they end up talking and having a conversation and amy said she felt like the last time they they met up they didn't mean it like they, they so-called squashed the beef but she felt like it was fake it was phony it was felocious like y'all didn't mean it because here we all back going back to back battling and battling now Rennie's response was she really felt like amy kept coming for her behind this song that she ain't know nothing about and just basically it was bullshit beef so long story short because we don't need to be here that long on this bullshit they end up making up and this was just in time for rashida and kirk with the three earrings to come downstairs let me get them up here now, Rashida and her husband with the three earrings come down there with the karaoke thing or whatever because they're ready for everybody to do their little karaoke one, two, yin, 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 yin. So, boom. Karaoke kicks off without a hitch. Everybody is singing their songs. You got Chaotic say appreciated and all of that. You got everybody who got a song singing their own song. Now, this is where it gets deep. Allegedly, no, not allegedly because I've seen it. Girl, tell me why Rashida got up there and did her little one, too. I don't know what raggedy song it was, but all I could think of is this, bitch. Y'all life, life is all about you. 
about you. We don't want to hear somebody you. Somebody else motherfucker. We want to hear you just like we don't want to hear your music, Georgia Girl. Peach. I'm Rashida. Okay. I rap like Shorty Low. Bitch, you know what? I'm done for real. Bitch, when I tell you I hollered ho, I howled like the like a dog on wolf in the moon. And Rashida, I know you got this face going on, girl, because this your real face. But girl, that would never that will be go down in infamy. Do you hear me? That read, I'm Rashida. I read like Shorty Low. Bitch, K Michelle probably was one of the best who did it. Let's move on though, anyways. So now they do all of their karaoke. Everybody's having a gay old time, a grand time. I'm here for it. Everybody's kind of, sort of, somewhat getting along. And then this happens. So Kirk dragged his three earrings over to Lil Scrappy to tell Lil Scrappy he thinks that he should talk to the BAM. He said, because y'all tension been thick. At the end of the day, that's the, the baby mama of your children. Y'all gonna have to have a good relationship. So you might as well go talk to her. Now, three earrings also hopped in a confessional to let us know that he wants peace between them two. Get out of my confessional. Now, he goes over to the BAM and he was like, the BAM, I would like for you to speak to your husband. I know the uh, papers ain't been signed yet, so he's still your husband. I would like for you to speak to him. Now, Yandy brings over Scrappy and Scrappy and the BAM is going to talk and Yandy in three earrings, Kirk is going to leave and let them have their little one, two, yin, yin, yin. So, boom. First things first, Scrappy start off and apologize. He said, you know, I really feel bad that, you know, we in this space. At the end of the day, I loved you. I really did. He said, I still do love you. He said, and I really thought we were going to work. He said, and as a man, I got to take responsibility for what I did. I'm so sorry, fat. Oh, I still love you. I'm never going to not love you. You got my churn. So, you know, I just wanted to extend that apology to you and say face to face. I had to look you like a man in your face and say, I'm sorry. That's what Lil Scrappy told her. Now, he held her hand because he wanted her to see how sincere he was in his apology. He needed her to know that shit is not sweet, but it's good. You know what I'm saying? So, the BAM is in tears. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe I finally got the closure I've been wanting. And I'm over here saying, well, all right, bitch, can you stop running around telling people you're a single mother then, bitch? Girl, this is a lot. So he goes in to tell the BAM, he said, I really truly do mean it though. And I want to give you a hug to prove that I mean it. Pull you in close to me because you are the BAM. You, I got the world calling you the BAM. So she ends up telling him, you know, at the end of the day, I, that's all I really needed or something like that, girl. I kind of tuned it out. I ain't going to lie. And all I know is he was holding their hands and they were saying something, yin, 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 because it really didn't matter at this point. Y'all about to go down there to the divorce, man, tomorrow, bitch. We don't care. Get out of here. But anyway, the BAM hopped in her confessional to let us know that this was the closure that she needed she said this is what she needed she said and i'm so happy he apologized she said she loved him and you know she gonna always love him but he never gave her grace girl i don't care if he gave you mace get off of him now at the end of the episode like i said he ended up apologizing to the bitch they ended up doing a little one-two hug or whatever, and we can move on and get out of here with this bullshit. And Lil Scrappy said he glad he was able to talk to his old lady. Girl, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. This shit was mid, mid-grade at best, bitch. Hi, Kevin Samuel say average at best. Y'all drop down in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on every single platform, okay? Hit the Discord and all of that. And I'll see y'all hoes later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? The nigga you just had up here.